Joel, uh, the numbers weren't great. I mean, but they didn't seem like they were disaster. Does the stock deserve, maybe deserves got nothing to do with it, as they say, uh, but should it be down 100 bucks a share right now? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me on. What, what a day, right? Um, I mean, arguably, yes. I mean, I think you're, you're seeing it in other, other names as well, especially those high-flying pandemic winners. And if Netflix is square into that bucket. You know, look at Peloton. You know, obviously, you guys broke this story yesterday. You know, DocuSign's had a tremendous fall. Zoom Media has been in a death spiral. So Netflix is no different. And, uh, yeah, the guy obviously missed by a mile. And I think I think the concerns, listening to Reed Hastings, who's very – obviously one of the most accomplished CEOs of, of, of our generation. Um, he sounds a little, he doesn't really, he, he's admitting not only the competition forces finally kind of creeping in, but he also said it's tough to pinpoint why acquisitions are slowing. So usually you expect confidence from, from them and, and clearly they're struggling with kind of uncertainty around churn trends, um, what, the, what the competition is doing as well. And I think that's a big issue. And now Netflix, you could argue, is now just turning into like a low double digit grower and that's obviously pressuring the multiple and, and the valuation. And that's that's the biggest issue for the stock right now. Yeah, but you just said it. It's still a grower. This is not a, a company that is in decline. This is still a growing company. And I get sure. it. It's not growing anywhere near the pace, obviously, investors wanted or maybe the multiple sort of commanded. But it is still growing. Why have investors seemed to give up on Netflix? Yeah, that's kind of been, well, it's not, I don't think it's just Netflix as well, but it is the story of tech over the past several months. I mean, clearly the number one headwind is still the withdrawal of unprecedented amount of stimulus, which has been thrown at the, at the, at the world economy because of, of, of the global pandemic. And, and we're seeing that, that process kind of unwind right now. And, and Netflix wasn't cheap. It was trading north of 45 times earnings. Um, and, and again, we all know their content slate is still king of the hill. But again, people want to see more. Um, and, and clearly costs are facing inflationary pressures in terms of, the, uh, of producing content. And, uh, you know, really they didn't touch much on gaming, but that remains a big area of focus for the part of the growth story. And we know, looking at Microsoft Actors and deal from, from early in the week, it's going to take a lot of money if they do expect to become a real player in gaming as well. And other than the sub with, don't forget, operating margin target came in 300 basis points below the street as well. So there's a lot of moving parts here. And, and, and I think right now, stock's probably dead money because I just don't see a catalyst in the near term until you see a, a return of growth of, of, of subscribers, uh, you know, hopefully in, in, in the more developed regions, which, which come with a higher ARPU. But it does feel like we're, we're, we're getting to the point of very uh, extreme satura saturation in its key markets of, of North America and, and Western Europe. 